Hello, oh, well, welcome to Jargon's Range of View. This time we'll be looking at the eighth episode of Dino Supercharge. Oh crap, I've already lost count. That ain't good. Riches and Rags. And this, we haven't had one in a very long time, is an Ivan episode. <laughs> you know this is gonna be something nice already. Now we begin with Heckle. Of course. And this is Fury's plan of taking what's the remains of Spellbinder and Gold Digger and combining them into a new monster called, well, Spell Digger, I think. Anyway, that doesn't matter because even Singe, uh, Heckle forces him to give up his blaster to help with the mission to lure out the Rangers. Speaking of which, he is what Sir Ivan shows up. Starts out with signing for delivery at the museum, which he doesn't know how to sign on a tablet. He thinks he has to use his old quill pen that he just happens to have in his pocket of the jacket that Shelby bought for him. <laughs> anyway, no, so the delivery dude has to tell how to mark his X on there. And he thinks this is new training dummy for passing his sword. And we see... Bits and pieces of it being cut off as he practices on it down in the base. But it turns out, nope. That was a thousand year old suit of armor that belonged to an emperor. And the training dummy was behind him. And Ivan doesn't see how serious it is because it was on loan. And it's like an expensive artifact. And he says, well, not anymore, it's not. So yeah, that becomes an issue right away. And when the guy, who of course is some kind of rich guy, who is actually a Master Finn back in Jungle Fury, RJ's father, how's that for unusual? Quite a change. He, but when he says how much it's worth, I mean, it's like, well, it's no use on the battlefield. It's not even worth two shillings. To which point he just. <laughs> The man is like, it's worth money, you have wit. And I'm gonna need it or the museum is mine. So yeah. Little misunderstanding. Partially because Ivan is a fool from the past. <laughs> and now, the museum is about to close if nothing happens. So they need to get money. And unfortunately, nothing of their stock that they can sell off is gonna be worth that amount. Now for other two rangers, Chase and Tyler, some guy is trying to pay for his order using a few gold coins. And he seems very stingy about giving away his money. Yet somehow he wants to give away gold coins. And he said that's the guy around the corner just tossing them out. And you see a little flash in their eyes when the two touch it, so you know it's already has some sort of power in it. So they go to check it out, and lo and behold, it's Heckle, wearing Dr. Insano glasses, for some reason. Just tossing it off, people clamoring for it, whoever comes to him. So when he walks off, the two follow him, but he knows they're following him. And he tells that monster to go get more from his vast treasure. So yes. The two go to follow him, thinking he's going to give them to even more gold. He's an alien monster, not a leprechaun. You stupid, stupid 20-year-olds or 18-year-olds, however old you people are. We only know that Shelby is 18, but we don't know the ages of anyone else. <laughs> this is just an amusing episode. And Ivan sees them and follows them, trying to get their attention. And the two find a trail of gold coins. And they're about to be trapped by the monster. But Ivan can't uh, help them because Fury cuts them off. And he challenges them to a duel. So while a little bit of fighting goes on, uh, the Dino Morpher Charger that has uh, Rexy in it comes to Tyler and it leads them to the battle. So they morph and they go into fighting. Now Ivan, after Fury retreats, 
sees the two climbing for the coins, and he thinks this to help him to death. But he says, no, a native Zandar will not use Marx's gold, but I know where to find one. So he heads off to the bank, and he asks for one bar of gold. Apparently he says he deposited it on a long time ago. A very long time ago indeed. But he doesn't have an account number or an ID, so he asks for something of his name on it. So he pulls out his old trusty sword. Says, there it is right there, it's engraved on it. And everyone freaks out and they sound the alarm. And so Ivan just runs off. Because he knows that it's going to lead to trouble. So he's not entirely immune to knowledge of the 21st century. Thankfully. And back at the base, uh, Kennel takes one of the gold coins and discovers that it has the hypnotic effect. So to go and fight off the monster, Tyler uses his supercharged powers to destroy it, and Ivan's in the lead for the Megazord battle. Nothing too fancy, it goes by pretty fast. But now we have two ending scenes. One is back on the crashed ship somewhere in a forest. Uh, Fury's brooding that he's gonna get crap from Heckle for screwing up. But then he hears Singe in the cell. And he listens in. He's talking to someone on a tablet. Talk says yes sir. To whoever it is. And he's saying, talking about getting the energens. Dealing with uh, Heckle and Snide. And Fury confronts him and... He tries to play it off, but Fury's on to him now. So we know that Sin just working for somebody. He's not here as an independent agent. So who could it be? A higher power? A third villain? My guess, and I'm hoping it is, is Sledge. I want to see Sledge again. And actually, we haven't seen a Wrench, Curio, or Poissandra since the start of this second season for Supercharge. Even though we know they're still there. Because we saw them. So did he leave the ship? Does he go find Sledge? Is Singe someone who works for Sledge? Not as one of his prisoners? Who knows? Or is it someone new? I'm hoping it's Sledge because I feel like as a villain for a whole season, he was just taken out way too quickly. I want him to really have a good battle. Because who knows, he may be the one in the battle for the last Energem. That will be a great twist, I tell you what. Overall, this is a really good episode. Doesn't advance anything on the Ranger side much. But it does some really good fun stuff with Ivan. Plus we see some foreshadowing with the villains. Oh right, forgot the final scene, it's where they're all in trouble because they don't have the money to pay off the museum. And earlier, Ivan asked to be his servant, but it didn't work. And so at one last ditch attempt, he offers him to have generosity to spare the museum. But that doesn't work because everyone has his price and he wants his money. Ah, oh, what a douche nugget. You can always just pay it off in installments, you know. But then Prince Philip, yes, he's actually still relevant. Man, with both the Graphite and the Purple Rangers and now the Aqua Ranger, none of them have gotten much screen time aside from a few minutes here and there. But Ivan has had quite a bit of time devoted to him. I really hope we get to see more of them when the season continues. He comes and explains right away that he had it looked into, and yes, King George, yes, that King George, gave Ivan that gold bar which he deposited in the bank. And it's been collecting interest for over 800 years, which is worth just over $2 million. So that can pay off his debt. Ha, <sighs> how convenient. And he has a certificate for it. Which Ivan promptly tries to give to the guy. And he's shocked. Because it's his private property. But he's given away for the sake of the museum. And Ivan explains why that would make me wealthy. The community would have a huge loss. And 
that would be even worse. We'd all be poorer. This is like, oh, okay. And as he's on his way out, he turns back around and he says, Nah, forget it. I don't want your money. <laughs> so they're going back and forth trying to give the slip to the other, slipping it in different parts of the clothing. The other guy just hands off to his assistant, gives all ninja cat leg and scratching at him, chases him around the room. That's how the episode ends. So yeah, this whole episode was just a lot of fun. <laughs> I definitely say check it out because you'll get a good laugh at it. And the acting's not bad either, what little of it that we do have. Plus, we got a little more comment on the villains. Nothing to complain about here. A fun episode. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I'm Jargon Zero. Thanks for watching, and when the season resumes, I'll see you then. And until that time, let the power protect you.